FNN. Headline News Update. Coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's up to an app percent, 786 points. SP uh, nearly 3 percent, 114, 3 and a half percent for the NASDAQ 100, 2 and a half percent for the Russell. That's 45 points, 3 and a quarter percent for the semis, 97 points there. You've got gold basically flat at 1819. Silver is off 14 pennies, trading out at 2161. Lights recruit off two dollars and twenty-seven cents. She's trading at one ten thirteen. Natural gas off about four cents. Thirty treasury up one point. Trading at one thirty-nine twenty-one. So, let's do this here. We'll go to our nine-panel market update chart. But first, let's just begin by taking a look at what we do have going on. If we take a look at the index index ETFs out here, if you look at the spies right now, volume is forty-three million shares. That 43 million shares is going against a trading day of May the 12th that had 125 million shares. So what this is, is a very light pullback from a volume standpoint inside of the S&P 500. A test of rejection, that means a close above 395.80 today, that would be a bullish message. In the case of the Qs, the volume that is testing, same uh, date with regard to the swing point, that would be May 12th, 121 million shares. We're only at 36 million shares. Again, another light volume test. Now, the rejection requires a close above 295.75. In the case of the uh, Dow, the Dow Diamonds, that swing point volume was 7 mil but 6.7 million shares. We're at 1.6. Bear there's so there's not a ton of sellers. Don't don't be thinking. Now, not that if we're in a liquidation event, it's a whole different scenario. But from a technical standpoint, they're not sellers enough to go ahead and bust out these lows. At least now we take a look at these index ETFs out here. And the Russell 2000 hasn't even made its way back to that swing point. So that's where we begin in just kind of giving a big overview. Now, we don't have much time here to take a look at our market update chart. From an ES mini standpoint, you could get price pulled back to support. It might be a nice uh, might be a, might be a nice trade if you get down to the 38.99 level. Don't know that that will happen. It has that possibility of occurring. Because the spot volatility is still above its 50 day is now above its 50 day exponential moving average, 27.17, and that's really the fly in the financial ointment for the S and P 500. The Nasdaq, the NQ, maybe it's pulling back to support. That's at 11.875. But just know this, folks: the pullback today, even though the numbers are large, not a ton of sellers out there. At least not as of 102 in the afternoon. Stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.